8 on race 6 and Frangelica 440, Archmobile 460, Champagne Miss at 660, Froth and Bubble at 13, Scratch Lucky Punch, My Fraline 10, Arborell 890, Moella 14, These Days 17, Carnaby Kiss 41, Princess de Hare 17, Salvit 38, Token Kate 55, Tubberubber Lady 26. Four and a half minutes to the Carpalaran Handicap. Now, correct weight Adelaide, Santawazi, 1830 and 580, Mountain Eagle at 240, Moved at 230, Quinella 92 even, and the trifecta 1485. Now, the sky ratings on the Queensland Oaks. Miss Bussell and Fazer, the joint top raters ahead of Keyes and Damashino. Here is the full market on the 20 horse field. Keys six dollars, Gold Lottie thirty, Miss Bustle five sixty, Fazer nine seventy, Damashino forty six, Polidomar seven sixty, Trail of Gold eleven, Yorkshire Lass eighty three. Over the page we go to Night Chaser eleven, Magic Sky one forty six, Tell Someone ninety three, Arboretum thirteen, The Mighty Lions twenty two, Winning Friends eighty nine. Gussie Godiva, 29, Mon Mecki, 50, uh, Vega Cecilia, 750, Wishes, 98, Tap to It, 221, Waiter Wero Gull, 224, and Scratch, 21, 22, 23. All right, time for us to go back to Sandown. Here's Alf Matthews. Thanks very much, John. Very open race here. $5.50, the current favourites, one and two. So five and eleven, two thousand five hundred and seventy-three dollars a carryover jackpot of one thousand and twenty-one. The extra double, three and four, seventeen ninety, and no special div required. Almost set sand down. Would say three and sixteen for the quaddy. Just sweating up a little for Angelica here. We'll run favourite from Archmobile. Now, Token Kate goes up with my Fra line. Selvita's ready. Now, Froth and Bubble to come in with Frangelica. She's just starting to lather up a little Frangelica behind the gates here. On the previous at the coast, it was a nose. One and three quarters, 149.46 the time. These days, on the outside of Princess to here. These days, just trying to get up in the air. Settles again. Been a fine day out here for Sandown Racing. First day of June. Now, they're ready. My Fra line took a dive at the gate. Settles again. Stalls back racing, came out in a reasonable line too. First out, Champagne Miss with Froth and Bubble travelling forward. So's Carnaby Kiss. Behind those, Moella Frangelica going back from Arborel Fra line. On the outside of further back, Princess to here from Archmobile. Sal Veaton token, Kate Tupperubble Lady, and these days last of all. Carnaby Kiss in front, a length in front of Champagne Miss, a length and a half, Froth and Bubble. It's third on the inside of Moella, fourth, two further back, then Frangelica gets in to be fifth on the outside of Arborel and my Fra line three out, then came Archmobile. Further back, then token, Kate, who's a little deep around Princess to here from Sal a length and a half, Tupperubble Lady at the thousand a length last of all these days champagne miss now goes to the front champagne miss took it up from carnaby kiss two and a half moella froth and bubble and archmobile got up on the inside fifth a length further back frangelica arborel my fra line around the outside from token kate then sell beat further back princess to here these days and tubberubba lady at the 650 champagne miss nearly two in front from carnaby kiss moella and my fra line's gone up fourth then archmobile but it's back on the inside from further out then came froth and bubble frangelica and token Kate and Selvite and these days taken deep as they fan out very wide the leader about six off the fence Champagne Miss angled to the outside and straightened a good two and a half in front of Carnaby Kiss my fra line further back in the race then came Frangelica Moella up the centre and then further back in the race came these days out wide Champagne Miss in front of Moella Carnaby Kiss my fra line and Frangelica back to the middle Champagne Miss still in front Moella coming after it Moella Champagne Miss from my fra line Moella on the inside of Champagne Miss Moella Champagne Miss coming down to the line. Moella. Moella a half head to Champagne Miss. My Fra line third. Frangelica fourth and then Carnaby Kiss. A gap then to Princess to Hare from these days. Further back then came Froth and Bubble followed by Selvite. Then Arborell well back Tubberubba Lady from Token Kate. And Archmobile is last of all. Eight Moella. 1470 and 460 for Greg Childs. Number three Champagne Miss at 280. And number six my Fra line to pay $3.
And we have correct way at the Gold Coast. Now let's go back to Kembler and to Wayne Harris. Thanks, Les. I thought it was a race at number six in Preston. It could break back into the winner's circle. He has won for a little while, but in saying that, he hasn't been far away from the action. Trained on the track here by Gwen Mark. He's got a great record on here on his home track. In six starts, he's only ever been out of a place once. So I thought getting back down the weights a bit, he had a very good chance in the race. Looked quite fit. So did number five, Newington Star. Looked very fit to me. A lot of these horses did go around recently in the same race here behind St. Georgina, who's got a, had a very good chance in Sydney today. This uh, horse did run third here at the Sandwich during the last start. Got the claim here for Jay Ford, so look the winner for most of the race. Gear change here, blinkers come off, but uh, that might just help it get the 1,300 metres. Number three, Imposing Waltz, did run second in that same race to St. Georgina. That was a glimpse of her best form. She's a very, very talented mare, this one. Another one that is trained on the track here. She Cloth going down towards the barrier. Miss Bustle favourite in a very wide betting race. Let's go back to Matthew Browning trackside. Righto, John, these fillies are on the track and on their way to the barrier for the Triple M QTC Oaks. Leon Corstens has got a good filly in Night Chaser, number nine. Uh, Leon, how's she enjoying this different environment being up here in the warmer weather in Brisbane? Yeah, well, she looks good. She's done really well since her last start, and uh, hopefully, you know, she'll uh, help us out today. Leon, just tell us about last start. It was in the Doombin Roses. She ran fifth behind Paladama, but she wasn't really beaten all that far. No, I think she got beat about three and a half, four lengths. She was getting home nicely towards the end. She had a bit of a checkered run going out the straight. She got into a bit of trouble. Into the straight, she got into trouble. So she did a good job to finish the race off, really. Well, that was 2,000 metres, and you say she was finishing off pretty well. So that uh, leads me to think the 2,400 today is going to be a, uh, a real bonus for her. Matthew, I hope you're right. <laughs> Uh, the wide draw, I worry. Oh well, we've we've been lucky. We've got the best on board, so let's hope he can account for it. Okay. But you're confident she can run out the mile and a half. I'll be disappointed if she doesn't, Matthew. Okay. Good luck with her. I hope she runs a big race for you and your owners. Thank you very much. That's uh, Leon Corstens uh, up from Melbourne, enjoying the uh, the carnival, and uh, we've got three and a half minutes until start time for the uh, the Oaks. Larry Olson's been keen on Kiesel. 6-4, as called at Kembler. Belmont the third, one Tick Nadina, 22 and 3. Two is Dorwin, 7.50 and 2.40. Three dedicated miss, 21 and 4. Loading for the Oaks. Four Shiny Deloon, 60 and 10. Five Awesome Annie, 11 and 2. Six Beyond the Sunset, 45 and 7. Seven Ricketave, 26 and 6. Eight Avenida Madero for Jason Brown, 150-104. Nine Corporate Lady, 12 and 2.30. Ten Double Flight, 40 and 8 and 12. Super Web, 62 and 8 dollars. Selections of Belmont Park for the next, the third, 8, 5 and 1. About four to move in Brisbane. Oates Kembler, two King of Atlantis, 22, 60, 5, 80. Second, six Impreza, 110. Third, four Maestro Maker, 340. Quinellas paid 54, 90. The exacto, 100 dollars, 10. Trifecta, 264, 1185, 40. Uh, the first four, 264 and 5, 11,894, 60. Extra double nine and two, 126, 70. Special div 660, 114, 94. Margins and the sectional to come on the fifth. Gate 17. Gold Lottie takes up her position and now they're in for the Queensland Oaks. Group one. They're set. Gussie Godiva. Starter goes to the platform. They're ready. Ready to jump. Gussie Godiva wishes gate two. Starter Mr. Alan Shuck picking up the button. Ready. in the Oaks. Keys jumped in the air at the start. Missed it a length and a half. Wishes the first to get going. Magic Sky Miss Bustle fast away. Monmiki popping over onto the rails. Yorkshire Lass handy. Out wide tap to it. Going forward. Gold Lottie showing speed. Damascino drifting back. Vega Cecilia getting to midfield on the outside of Peladama and Yorkshire Lass. Keys back along the rails. Pfizer's drifting back with Night Chaser. Way to Wiro Golds back in the field with Arboretum. The Mighty Lions getting well back to is Tell Someone and Gussie Godiva immediately drops to the rear. Going to the turn out of the straight. Wishes is the leader. Wishes by a length and a half. Gold Lottie popping over onto the rails. A beautiful ride down the straight the first time. Magic Sky fourth on the inside. Dem Someone 
Arboretum and Gussie go Godiva is last. Not happy with Heading the with the back to the 1600 metres mark and wishes the leader by one. Damascino in second spot. Racing third then is Gold Lottie. Tap to it as fourth. Two length away, Miss Bustle striding up three deep on the outside. Winning friends, the middle magic sky, the rail. Trail of gold midfield. So too is Paladama. Monmiki's on the rail. Vega Cecilia's next on the outside. Keys back worse than the centre on the fence. Then Night Chaser followed by Yorkshire last. The mighty lines as deep. A long way back on the field. Way to Wiro Gold. Gussie Godiva. G. Pfizer's a long way from them. She's back third last. Followed by Tell Someone. And Arboretum is last of all. Wishes led on the top corner at the 1,000 metres mark by one length. The Miss Bustle's gone strongly to second. Damascino races third. Tap to it fourth. Gold Lottie fifth on the rail. Two lengths away. Winning friends than Magic Sky on the rail. Trail of Gold going forward. Paladama and Vega. Cecilia's taking off on the outside. Then Mon Mickey Keys improving in the middle, followed by the Mighty Lions. Night Chasers back on the rails. Pfizer's trying to get into the race now from Yorkshire Lass. Arboretum, Gussie Godiva, Wadawiro Gold, and Tell Someone whips them in. Look at them pack up on the corner in the Oaks. Wishes tackled by Miss Bustle. Three out, tap to it. Here's Trail of Gold winning friends. Demachino trying to get off the fence. Mon Mickey, Paladama and Keys is coming into it. Trail of Gold hit the front at the 200 metres mark. Mon Mickey and now Keys on the outside of then Miss Bustle. Trail of gold tackled by Mon Mickey. Keys and Night Chasers bursting through. Mon Mickey, Keys and Night Chaser. Mon Mickey and Night Chaser have come away. Mon Mickey the outside's in front and Mon Mickey won the Oaks from Night Chaser. Keys. Fourth home was Tell Someone. Then Damascino followed by Miss Bustle, Gold Lottie, Trail of Gold, Pfizer. Then Arboret on the Mighty Lines followed behind those. Tap to it. Winning friends. Wadariro Gold. Magic Sky. Yorkshire Lass. Vegas Cecilia's a long way back. Gussie Godiva. Paladama's finished a mile back on the field and Wishes has pulled up at the end. OK, we lost our line midway through that feature race. Number 16, Mon Miki to pay $87.20 and $19. Number 9, Night Chaser, a dividend of $3.60 and one keys at two thirty. And they're moving in Perth. On the parade of Paul Hammersley after his first Group 1 win on Mon Miki in the Oaks. Wait for the uh, judge to post the numbers. It has not been confirmed by the judges yet. There it goes. Number 16, Monmiki is the winner. How much money are these bookmakers going to have today? Monmiki. Let's forget about that. Let's talk about the thrill for this young boy, Paul Hammersley, and this performance by Monmiki. Monmiki and Keyes started their runs together on the outside, and you would have thought nine times out of ten, Keyes would add gun Monmiki, but no, sir. Not today. Not today. And here's Paul Hammersley. He's still around at the 1800 metre point, but he's wildly waving the whip to the crowd. That would be one excited young man. All right, they're almost set at uh, Belmont. Margins Kembla, three quarters, a short half head. The time amended, 118.91, sectional 34.32. to Madeira. And she's at $2.30. There has been some... Downstairs to Matt, and I think he may have Gerald Ryan with him. Uh, Gerald, this was a massive rise in class for her today. Are you surprised? No. When she won a class two at the Gold Coast as a maiden back in December, I said to Bob then, I reckon this filly would be a real Oaks chance. The only hiccup we've had was when she ran here a couple of weeks ago and Steve King rode her and she went terrible. And Paul's... No, she only seems to go for Paul and he's rode a brilliant today. Yeah. She showed a good turn of foot. She might be a nice day or, uh, later on. Yeah, I think she will be now. You know, she could end up a cup source and I think the first, you know, she'll have no trouble running two miles. W what about putting her up against the Colts and Geldings next week in the derby? Are you thinking that way? No, she'll go to the paddock. She'll definitely go to the paddock. She's had a five runs. We've set her for this campaign. She's had the five runs. She's won three and she can go to the paddock. And what about this young rider, Paul Hammersley? It's a big assignment putting a, a young apprentice uh, on board in a Group 1 race. They told me that two years ago when I put Karen McAvoy on a horse, but, you know, I've had a lot of faith in Paul ever since he's come from Sydney, and I said to him, you know, when she come back into work, you can ride her all the way through. All right. You've got a fair bit of time for this filly, Gerald. Yeah, I like her. You know, she's a good stay in Philly, and I think Australia needs stayers. Good on you. Well done. Okay, thank you. Gerald Ryan, congratulations, Gerald. Terrific. And uh, Mon Mecky, not a good result for the punters, but uh, an amazing story. We'll endeavour to find out more about this young rider, Paul Hammersley, who I have to be honest, I don't think many of us know a great deal about at this stage. It's raining. The good weather has come to an end as we get towards uh, the end of this program, at least, but two good races still to come. But, Tappy, that was the Oaks taken out by Mon Mecky. And look at that little bloke, Matthew. He's ready to burst.
Paul Hammersley. Uh, just an amazing feat for an apprentice jockey to, to be riding a Group 1 winner. And you heard Gerald Ryan say that he rode the filly impeccably. Mon Mecky, 65 50 and $15 on a day of long shots all around Australia. The heavens opened as they came down the straight there in the Oaks. Night Chaser second, Damien Oliver, 3.30. Keys looked like winning, died on her run at 2.20. Quinella, 4.72. Trifecta, 10,722. And Brian York's worst fears were realised when Miss Bustle started to pull. And boy, did she pull. He couldn't hold her. She went from ninth to second going down the back straight and just over-raced uh, to Bilio and was a spent force at the top of the straight. Paladama. They're about to jump. Gussie Godiva has the rails. Pfizer stands well with wishes and Miss Bustle's well behaved. Keys is ready. Golotti settles. Way to Wiro. Golden Yorkshire Lass. Winning friends. A starter, Alan Shuck. On the platform. The light goes on. They're all set to run. And they're off and racing. Keys missed it. Keys missed it badly. Went back towards the tail of the field and wishes from near the inside. One of the first to come out. Magic Sky began okay. Miss Bustle, Yorkshire, Lass and Monmiki out all right. Tap to it's going fast. So too is Gold Lottie and winning friends and Damashino. When they get to the line the first time and wishes is the leader. Gold Lottie goes to second. Winning friends third. Magic Sky fourth and Damashino's fifth on the outside. Followed by Tap to it. Monmiki back on the inside. Miss Bustle back about eighth in between runners. Trailer gold a little bit deep and Keys has improved a midfield from Paladama. Night Chasers on the rails from Yorkshire. Lass and Vega. Cecilia's trapped out deep. One away to Wiro. Gold getting back followed by the mighty lines. Pfizer's drifting back and then tells someone Arboretum and Gussie Godiva is last. Heading with the back to the 1600 metres mark and wishes the leader by one. Damashino in second spot. Racing third then is Gold Lottie. Tap to it is fourth. Two lengths away, Miss Bustle striding up three deep on the outside. Winning friends, the middle magic sky, the rail. Trail of gold, midfield. So too is Paladama. Monmiki's on the rail. Vega Cecilia's next on the outside. Keys back worse than the centre on the fence. Then Night Chaser followed by Yorkshire Last. The mighty lines is deep. A long way back on the field. Way to Wiro, goal. Gussie, Godiva. G Pfizer's a long way from them. She's back third last. Followed by Tell Someone. And Arboretum is last of all. Wishes led on the top corner at the 1,000 metres mark by one length The Miss Bustle's gone strongly to second. Damashino races third. Tap to it fourth. Gold Lottie fifth on the rail. Two lengths away winning friends than Magic Sky on the rail. Trail of gold going forward. Paladama and Vega. Cecilia's taking off on the outside. Then Mon Mickey Keys improving in the middle followed by the mighty lines. Night Chasers back on the rails. Pfizer's trying to get into the race now from Yorkshire Lass. Arboretum. Gussie Godiva. Wadawiro Gold. And tell someone whips them in. Look at them pack up on the corner in the Oaks. Wishes tackled by Miss Bustle. Three out. Tap to it. Here's Trail of Gold. Winning friends Damachino trying to get off the fence. Mon Mickey Paladama and Keys is coming into it. Trail of Gold hit the front at the 200 metres mark. Mon Mickey and now Keys on the outside and then Miss Bustle. Trail of Gold tackled by Mon Mickey. Keys and Night Chasers bursting through. Mon Mickey, Keys and Night Chaser. Mon Mickey and Night Chaser have come away. Mon Mickey the outsides in front and Mon Mickey won the Oaks from Night Chaser Keys. Fourth home was Tell Someone. Then Damashino followed by Miss Bustle, Gold Lottie, Trail of Gold, Pfizer. Then Arboretum, on the Mighty Lines followed behind those. Tap to it. Winning friends, Wadariro Gold, Magic Sky, Yorkshire Lass, Vegas Cecilia's a long way back. Gussie Godiva, Paladama's finished a mile back on the field and Wishes has pulled up at the end. Mon Mickey, ridden by apprentice Paul Hammersley, has won the Oaks. And have a look at the price. $65 here, thank you. Mon Mickey, trained by Gerald Ryan and ridden by Paul Hammersley as the winner. Night Chaser has burst through and has run second. Keys third. And I think tell someone may have got up to fourth. But Mon Mickey, the winner, Paul Hammersley. He's... Is Ken at ten dollars. Ron Duffy's numbers are four, three, five, and six. He goes rare eclipse uh, from Kennett, Royal Circle, and Sorrento.
We'll go to Ian Craig now at Rose Hill for race seven. Thanks, John. The Fresh World handicap it is. And uh, on track, the best back runner late has been uh, Stowaway. Got out in the early stages of betting, but uh, latterly has come right back in again. Second up from a lengthy spell. To Stowaway on track in front of number 10, Shamrocks. This race is over the 1,500 metres. The previous going to wear dancing Chris Munts, beat dance director Darren Beatman, Blazing Arch third, Leanne Olsen, six go bend fourth. So in the first, Penny Opera, Darren Beatman beat highest James Innes. The second, Robert Royale, Chris Munts beat Lion Dancer, Darren Beatman. The third, Gahila Baby, Paul Falvey. Isla Christina, second, Darren Beatman. Caribou, Mark de Montfort, the fourth, beat Can't Tackle, Darren Beatman. Key Reversal, Darren Beatman beat Chris Munts, Irish Letter in the fifth. And Chris Munts, Weird Dancing, beat Darren Beatman, Dance Director in the sixth. What an interesting day of racing. We've got three or four to move up here at the Gardens. And um, number two, Stowaway, $5.00. Is the second pick on the tote to number 10, Shamrocks, at $4.40. Maybe that Beedman factor, particularly with the uh, early tote figures, had Shamrocks coming in very, very short. But uh, he is a clear second to pick in the ring to number two, Stowaway. Terrific effort, Stowaway, at uh, Randwick on the 11th of May. His first start back since the 9th of December in the year 2000. Well, how will he go today? We'll shortly know. They're all there. The Fresh World Handicap 1500. They're off. Gwendolyn back to last. Two-time tart. Didn't jump all that brilliantly. And the same for Power of Pegasus. And Royal Integrity was away quickly, headed immediately by Special Orders. In third position, Sorrento. Then the favourite, Stowaway, followed closely. And uh, going up very wide out, Kennet. From Rare Eclipse and Royal Circle, a length and a half. Shamrocks around Gwendolyn, Power of Pegasus. And two-time tart is the tail ender. Down towards the 1,000 metres, they gallop. And Kennet takes up the running now by about two and a half Sorrento and Special Orders. A couple further back, Royal Integrity, followed by Royal Circle. Between Royal Integrity and a Royal Circle is Stowaway the Grey. Then Rara Eclipse, a length further back, is Power of Pegasus on the outside of Shamrocks. Next to last is Gwendolyn, still absolute, being two-time tut. They work their way along the side of the Rose Hill race course, and Kennet leads the way more than a length. Sorrento, Special Orders, Stowaway, Royal Integrity, Royal Circle, Rara Eclipse, hemmed away. A length further back is Shamrocks, followed by Gwendolyn, Power of Pegasus, is hard ridden and one further off is two time tart they come around the corner and can it first for home more than a length special orders rare eclipse angling for the run going back to the inside to secure same and then sorrento stow away on the outside from royal integrity shamrocks royal circle but rare eclipse booting right along the rails and rare eclipse hits the front from Kenneth sorrento and then royal integrity rare eclipse the leader sorrento's having a real shot now sorrento comes at rare eclipse all Oh, this is close. Rara Clips and Sorrento hit it absolutely locked together with Kennet and Royal Integrity not far back. In a photo for third, Shamrocks made up ground from Special Orders, Royal Circle, Stowaway. Two-time Tart, Gwendolyn and Power of Pegasus back near the rear. Photo. Gee, this is close. Rara Clips got through on the inside. And then again in the last 50 metres, Sorrento... Chris Munts has had a real dive at uh, Rara Eclipse. And uh, honestly, on the freeze frame here, um, may, well, if it's, well, I don't know whether it's frozen directly on the mirror. The outside horse has got a good chance here. Yes, it's got there. Sorrento is the winner. Number six is the winner. Sorrento ridden by Chris Munts. So how many winners is that for Christopher today? One... That's three for him. Robert Royale, we're dancing, and now Sorrento. Sorrento, number six, Chris Munts, has paid $15.20 and $4.90. Second up for Gay Waterhouse today after a lengthy spell. Uh, number four has run second, Rara Eclipse, written by Paul Falvey. And number three is officially third, and that is Kennett, written by Rod Quinn. Number ten ran fourth. And that was uh, Shamrock's wide out, Royal Integrity fifth. Shamrock's ended up fourth. Gee, you've got to tack something on for the outside horse from uh, this angle here with the rail out. So it's six, four, three, and ten. And Sorrento by uh, Just a Dancer from Amatrice, beautifully bred, now owned by the Strathedon Stud Syndicate. Well, that looked gone at the top of the straight, Sorrento. It was 
not going to run a drum and just kept on boring on one rein, I might add, over the last 100 metres. To, uh, f for Chris Munts to be able to get it home the way it was laying in was a tidy piece of riding. Sorrento, 15, 20 and 4.90. Rare Eclipse, $3 and Kennet at 3.10. Quinella, 88.90. Exactor, 113.90. Trifecta, 1,099. A treble for Chris, a double for Darren and Darren leads uh, Chris Munts by half a win. Now Sandown and uh, Dandy Kit is out, Thong and Pushbike $2, Slipstream $10, Bun Fight out, Lady Wild 11 scratch 6, As You Do 15, Filatimo 650, Nutcracker 850, Fadipides 31, Timely Waters 13 and Yellow King at 22. Okay, the top eight in Melbourne. And it's Thong and Pushbike favourite clear cut ahead of Filatimo, Nutcracker and Slipstream. 187,000 in the wind pool. Now looking ahead to Eagle Farm, race seven, and Century Kid is the top rater, not surprisingly, ahead of Pembleton, Marwin Gold and Jar Jar Binks. The full market on this, uh, the QTC Cup, Bomber Bill 22, Century Kid 630, Pembleton 11, Mark Dig My High Panis 14, Susie Gray 510, Maitland Gold 10, Marwin Gold 41, City Shy 54. Over to Crete 29, Jar Jar Bink 790, Gold Class 540, Our BK 23, Sports Brat 29, Trevor Skay 33, and Vladivostok at 31. Correct Weight Cheltenham, numbers 238, Quinella 370 and the trifecta 5070. Here's Alf at Sandown. Thanks, John. A lot of interest has gone out of the race after the scratchings of Dandy Kid and Bun Fight because they were the horses that were going to race right up on the speed and make it a little bit difficult if they could have dictated. That being the case, I've actually put the favourite on top. Now that the field's reduced, it doesn't really matter whether he gets back, covers a little bit of ground. They're opening up, they're racing right across the track, so he really shouldn't have much trouble beating these horses now because I do believe he is the best horse in the race. Whether you want to back him at the short odds on offer at the moment because it's exactly square across the board, uh, you can suit yourself. But I've put him on top ahead of eight which is Filatimo. It's a horse that's going to race up there and give you a good sight for a long way. I've then looked for a little bit of value, that being number 11, Timely Waters. 1,300 metres, I thought that performance last start was pretty good. Albeit being on good ground, he does cope with slow conditions pretty well and he has also been placed on slow ground over this unusual distance of 1,300 metres. Looked particularly well under saddle too and it should have a nice run. I've also included number 9, which is Nutcracker. It's had two runs back from a spell now. Again, the 1300 should suit, and with a bit of luck, he may not get all that far away. He has drawn perfectly to run well. I've marked them two ahead of eight, 11, and nine. And on course, John, there has been no move for anything at all. Really? A stagnant affair. Ray seven. Thong and push bike two dollars. Filatimo six thirty and Nutcracker eight ten. Right on now, Eagle Farm race seven, top eight. Susie Gray on top of Go.